is Bernardo from the BTN HD. What? Another exciting unboxing for you guys. And it's a big one, like always. I like going big for you guys. <laughs> so, this unboxing is actually the Atiplex from Dell, the 9020 all in one. I think the last all in one I did for you guys was, uh, I believe, the Atiplex 9010. Uh, we purchased this for my job. We were trying to get the 9010s and it looks like Dell is not selling them anymore. So it's always been like that. If you purchase a certain model, eventually a couple of months along the way, that model doesn't exist and then they bump it up, they need like 10 more. Like uh, for example, if they, the 720, you purchase the 720 and then two months later they got the 730. It's basically the same specs. So let's, uh, let's open this bad boy up and see how it looks. And here it goes, guys. Uh, whew, huge. It covers my whole face. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, best thing I like about this uh, all-in-one from Dell is that it's extremely sturdy. I mean, this guy is like extremely heavy. Um, I love the base. I love the fact that everything is compact into one solid computer. You know, you don't have a monitor and you don't have a tower. Now, the all-in-ones nowadays, back then, the all-in-ones used to be kind of crappy. But Dell has been doing a great job nowadays with the all-in-ones lineup that they have on their website. Uh, this particular one, again, is an Octoplex Dell 9020. And it's an i5 core processor uh, from Intel. And I believe it's a dual core, a dual quad core processor. Uh, my IT manager actually purchased this one for one of our users on the floor. And he maxed it out. I think I don't think he maxed it out, but he's uh, he maxed out the price that he's able to purchase this guy. And I think he did 16 gigs. 16 gigs, dual quad core processor, i5. Holy moly. We actually purchased two. Uh, the second one was amazing because it was an Intel i7 processor with a dual quad core processor, right? Dual core quad. And that was 16 gigs as well, but it was an i7 processor. The only thing I don't like about the all in ones is, uh, and the i7 that we purchased wasn't touch screen. Now, this i5 inch touch screen, okay? Uh, so that means the drivers are a little different. I have to actually wipe it clean, re-image it. The reason why I have to do that is because uh, we're not really fully a Windows 8 shop yet because it's Windows 8, no one really likes it, right? So I have to wipe it clean, do Windows 7. As you know, a lot of the new machines out there have the UEFI secure boot thing, so you have to go inside the BIOS setting and disable all that stuff. I think I did a video for you guys on that, so go check that out. Uh, so one of the, oh, so heavy. Um, we purchased other all-in-one models from Dell and the base is kind of, you can rotate it, you know, side to side, like a swivel, but this one is solid. Uh, on the, on one of the sides, you have your headphone jack, you have your mic jack, you have uh, one, two, and standard, I think, 2.0, USB uh, ports. You have your SD card reader right here, which is really good, especially for photographers that are taking shots and then you just stick in the SD card and do that. Gotta make sure you got those drivers because if you're wiping it clean, you gotta pull all the drivers back. Um, on the other side, let me just rotate this guy for you guys. On the other side right here, uh, you have your power button. Uh, this right here is old school monitor functions. Uh, it allows you to adjust the scale, uh, adjust the colors and all that stuff, get into the menu. Uh, you got your nice little DVD ROM or you got a Blu-ray ROM or just a regular CD ROM. I think we got the CD slash DVD ROM recordable so our users could record and burn DVDs. On the front, on the front right here, uh, we have our nice little mic. So the mic system is right here. Is one of the things I like about the mic, uh, which actually changed on this model, which is pretty cool. It's kind of weird though. Uh, other models they have like a nice little 
sliding mechanism that will cover it up because as you know, uh, a lot of hackers are able to infiltrate your webcam and then view everything. Uh, I don't really like this part right here. I kind of missed the little slide portion. This right here actually takes the little camera and tilts it down. I kind of don't like that. This sucks. Uh, you have the, at the very top, you got two little slots right here. Those are your mic. And let's turn this bad boy in the back. And you're probably asking yourself, where is the, the sound? Where is the sound coming from? Now, the sound system, I believe, comes in between this little slot up here. And at the bottom right here, I'm going to talk a little bit. Guys can't hardly see it that much, but I'm trying to explain it to you. Uh, you got your power cord. You got your VGA port, the VGA out port, which allows you to have two monitors. Uh, you got your Ethernet port. And then you also have your sound now, HDMI, and then uh, the beauty about this bad boy is that you have six USBs uh, on your thing. And out of the USBs, I think one, two, yeah, one, two, I think two, let me see something. One, two, three, four, yeah, so total we have eight ports, and out of the eight ports we have four 3.0 USBs, and the other four are standard 2.0 speed-wise USBs. I find this kind of strange that Dell is still pushing out machines with the old school PST ports for the mouse and for the keyboard. If you don't know what a PS2 uh, port looks like, uh, remember back in the old days when you had you used to have those old uh, computers and your keyboards and mouse at the very end of the tip it wasn't USB right it used to be purple or green ports or white ports with a little pins on it those are PS2 ports this guy still supports it like I can't believe that Dell still still supports it on the all in ones but uh, we haven't really distribute this particular model as of yet on the floor. We have distributed 9010s on the floor and our users love it. Again, they're running Windows 7 Service Pack 1 Enterprise and they love it a lot. Uh, this one particularly is going to be the touch screen. I think we only have one user that has a touch screen all-in-one and that's my IT manager and he's like, he doesn't use it at all. I have an all-in-one and two with dual monitors and it works great. It's a i7 processor and it does the job uh, for my everyday thing. But overall, I love the machine. Uh, the memory is there. Again, uh, standard memory, if you purchase this retail price is about four gigs. You get four gigs. Uh, I think uh, I think the basic processor is an i3, but you, it comes with an i3, i5, i7 and you can up it up to 32 gigs of RAM. That's really up to you. Again, this model right here that we have uh, is 16 gigs, i5 processor. It comes with Windows 8. It kind of sad it doesn't come with Windows 8.1, but I got to wipe it clean and put Windows 7 into price. But that's about it, guys. I'm really satisfied about this. I'm going to put the information at the bottom at, uh, at the description part so you guys can go check it out on the Dell site. Check out the pricing. Uh, check out more cool pictures behind the scenes and stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.